Nothing like trashy isekai and Arifureta and grapey theme with the Leon. Bro, she's like 14. What the hell is wrong with that prince? Um, I think the prince is dead. The spider like came down and I think it injected some sort of poison. I think the assassination has been dead. And the bunny clans are also just coming in, right? We're having this whole banquet. It's supposed to be this huge event, but like a lot of assassinations I think gonna happen. Hajime and the gang are looking dripped out. And the emperor? I think that he's not a good person, but I like him. I I, I actually kind of like him, right? Like he, he, <laughs> the way that him and Hajime were like conversing on the table and trying to like be passive aggressive to each other. Come on, what's going on here, bro? You're really not gonna tell me. It's like both sides know exactly what's going on, but he's like, all right, bro, fine, whatever. The emperor is kind of humorous, so maybe there's like a redemption for him. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だい。だ
the uh, tournament arc in Mahoka Season 1. The way that they wrapped up the tournament with like a dance with Jesus Christ, Onisama dancing with every girl. Vest, you know, vest, a vesting bloom or something playing in the background. It's so beautiful. Sure, sure. Yo, Kaori's dress is so down bad. Like, the, look at the... Everyone else's belly buttons are at least covered with like a little slight indent. It's, it's, it's a like belly button fucking cleavage, man. What'd you say there? No, we got you. We got you. That makes sense. Now she's slipping. She is slipping. The cool, you know, um, I don't know, mysterious girl attitude is gone. Yeah. She's part of the crew. She's domesticated. Hmm. A lot of people don't like this. You see the background characters? They're all staring at Hanzime and Yue. They don't like this at all. Wow, Hanjime, great dancing skills. Guards! Someone arrest that fucking pedophile! You know why they're fucking looking bad out? <laughs> she looks like a child. <laughs> Everyone here is like, what the fuck? What is the age of consent here? What the? Everyone else is not looking down because of, you know, fucking classism and racism. No, 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 no. They think, they think that Hanjime is a lolicon. Have you no shame? Lolly. Oh, the another lolly after Nolly Lolly. Making the round. Making the round is definitely code. The plan is on its way. There's some secret plan here that we're unaware of that they're executing right now. He's actually taller than Yue. <laughs> Shizuku wants to get involved so bad, bro. Come on, I want to play rock, paper, scissors too, but I can't let my cool girl persona down. Hi. So, so, so. Dude, they just did three rocks in a row. Show, show, show. They did three rocks in a row. So, so, so. Bro. <laughs> My red? Mm. And like Hajime, what a lollicon. Another one? Right after Yue? Wait, she wanted to be saved? But she's not saying that she's glad what happened with the prince, right? She's just saying that was kind of cool how you saved me. Okay. That was great. It's your true color. Unbecoming state. Yeah, everyone is so mad, bro. Holy shit. Hose oh, mad. <laughs> Yo, just go for the fucking kiss right now. <laughs> just fucking kiss right now in front of the prince. Yo, she is a dangerous girl, man. She's a professional victim right now. Just weaponizing her position. Oh, you, you helpless princess, my ass. Damn. Gripping. Hmm. Yeah, somehow, someway. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna actually do something. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. But based on her high there, it sounds like she's not aware of the actual plans going around. So I misinterpreted when she says I'm done making the rounds. I thought that there was like a secret plan that they were in on, but no. <laughs> They're still playing rock, paper, scissors. Dude, they're still just doing wrong! It's just a reused fucking animation that at least the titties are jiggling and Shizuku's still jealous that she can't participate. They're just doing rock every fucking time, bro. <laughs> Do something else! Just... Rock. 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 <laughs> yeah, you a main girl. Yo, go for the kiss. 
Yeah. Tio loves it. Tio loves it. Tio actually enjoys being cucked though. That's the thing. Everyone else is jealous. Tio's like, oh, this new sense of humiliation. Oh, bunnies, bunnies. Mission, take down the empire. Let's go. Shea's gonna start off the signal. Oh, shit. Here we go. All right, we're representing the clan. Shit, she's going off doing our solo shit. I thought that she was gonna make a big announcement. Emperor. I do love this voice actor. Oh, the Emperor might have a plan. Wait, is he aware? I don't know. Is he planning something? Maybe. He's calling Hatsumi out right now. <laughs> Centuries, man. How do you Glory to the bunny clan. Oh, with the lights. Oh. Did the emperor did that? It was completely dark. He just put the flight in all the fucking arrows. Did you see that? It was lazy animation, but it was like, it was fucking sick. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Damn. Maybe it's not lazy animation. Maybe this is fucking peak right now. Oh, head cut off. Bunny clan. The Emperor is still holding it down. Bro, everyone else is so useless, they couldn't even light up the place. The Emperor is deflecting like 20 arrows at a time while illuminating the room too. The Emperor is honestly popping off. It's really strong. Multi element at the same time. Dude, he's soloing. Like I, like, I, I thought the emperor might have been all just talk. That he just like a smooth talker. But like, not only is he smart and competent, he's also very capable of fighting. I know I probably shouldn't be glazing the emperor's side. I should be glazing the buddy side. But like, bro, give the credit where it's due. They're all gonna be all terrified of the bunny clan now. That's the whole point. Blocked off. Ooh, the hammers. Yeah. Big bonk time. Let's go, Shea. She's like a mini boss. Dead. Off screens. <laughs> I thought that maybe she would have gone up and the head would be like, you know, fucking uh, penetrating the roof, but this is cool too. Daughter of the. Yep. Let's go. Bunny dog. I forgot about that. No, no, no. It has a chain. It has a chain attachment to it. I didn't. I, I didn't realize it. It, it had the extension. 
自ら武器を捨てるとはおうヘッシャーヘッシャーあの、ファンサービスが incorporated with the fights too, though. Like, that's crazy right now. Any last words? Oh, and this guy is the most piece of shit of them all. Maybe not the most, but like this guy with the scar, he was there in the flashbacks. He was the one being so cruel to the bunny. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Home run. Home run. <laughs> the window ish fragments falling could have been a little bit better than just fucking, you know, this constant linear speed of his being dragged down, but that was fucking sick. Bonk. Let's go. Home run. Who knows where he went? To the moon, bro. He went to the fucking moon. Mm -hmm. Night's not over yet, though. Holy shit, he is. How is he doing this by himself? Wait, wait, wait. Getting a bit tired. Poison. Maybe there were some scratches. Maybe there's some poison gas. What's going on? It's heavy. Oh, it's the end for the Emperor. He honestly soloed. His men suck. God, these Imperials, dude, they all fucking suck. Every one of them are just liability. Oil? So we're not trying to kill him. Maybe. All part of the plan, baby. Is this the good part? Let's see it. D? Bro, no wonder he's so fucking strong. He's from the D clan from One Piece. <laughs> like, I think, like, he's telling him to lick the ground, right? Like, the ants are not being poured on the ground. If you want to live, like, lick the ground and show me you're groveling in front of everybody, right? <laughs> More heads. Huh? Is that a bomb? Necklace of vows. Oh shit. It's a permanent thing. Oh shit. Okay. Slavery gone. No more racism. You die. But we would win. Princess. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that they didn't kill him off last episode. Now, oh, it's gonna be even great. Now, will the emperor actually care about his son? I thought the Emperor would be a pragmatic, reasonable person that would agree with the vows if it meant, you know, their survival. But he's willing to go down with this shit. But what about the son? Does he care about his son that much? <laughs> there was no time. Okay, we're just fucking cutting the head off. Will the Emperor care? And <laughs> the Emperor was unaffected. <laughs> There's not a sound to oh, my son. He's like, he's a fucking piece of shit lost cause. I wanted him dead, honestly. Who's next? A bomb. Damn. Now you forced me to. That's right. If you denied. This is why the outcome is happening. You should have accepted the vow. I mean, they're both complicit. Another one. Boom! I thought he was gonna say, I just blew up an orphanage. Not just any orphanage. An orphanage full of kids that are just blind. What's next? Oh shit, what's next? 
Now, they could totally be lying and it could be random explosions. There's no way to confirm this, right? In the heat of the moment, we could be just gaslighting him to kind of like take this more seriously. Do it! Yeah. The vows, man. I guess he's gonna take the vow. Easy. Emperor subjugated. My bad. <laughs> bald. I see a baldy. Four vows. Chesra. Wait, wait, wait. It's not over yet. Something else is happening. The Emperor needs to say it. Oh, I thought he'd make a whole speech, you know, listing all the vows, but it's looking like we've agreed to the deal, everything is good. And they can't go against us. Every one of his close people, right, will die if they break the vow. So even though I bet there's still going to be racist sentiments, but like they can't fuck with us anymore, right? New Haudia tribe. They did. Good job. The timing with the sunrise, man. Happy ending. And that's the episode? That's it, man. You know what's hilarious? The more I think about it, he cared more about like random people dying than his son. <laughs> like when his son was held hostage, they cut his head off. There was no reaction from me. He's like, eh, whatever. I'm still fucking, I'm committing. And then random explosions, boom. A hospital just got blown up, boom. A fucking orphanage just got blown up, boom. That was a local pet store. What you gonna do, buddy? He's like, okay, stop. Okay, stop. Part of me thinks that it would be even more funny if those explosions were simply just like, it was a, a bluff, random explosion going off to make him feel threatened about it, but it could have been real. And the son was honestly a piece of shit. I'm glad that he died. Today's episode was fantastic. We're really early into the season though, and already an empire arc has been dealt with. I thought that this is gonna be the meat of the season, but you know, technically if this is a detour we're taking, and we were supposed to go to the labyrinth to take care of that shit though, right? But this episode, fantastic. I'm glad that they said that Shea had her moments too. It wasn't the best animated, but for what this show can deliver, it was fucking good. And honestly, I think that we should give the Emperor more like applaud like he was sick the way that he was holding himself down like there was no other dudes that's like capable of fighting the empire is just the emperor and just a bunch of shitty cgi soldier they all suck but the emperor was so goaded and i did like his personality even like last episode so hopefully he sticks around and you know he has this vow that he must keep and maybe there could be some sort of like, I don't know, redemption or some way to like get along with them and he could be like an ally. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.